Welcome inside Village Bagel. I'm here with Laura this morning. And you know, Laura, I have to confess, this is my first time here and it's so cozy. I love it. Yeah, yeah. We like to create that atmosphere where people feel like they can hang out long after they finish eating. Yeah, okay, so what time do you guys typically open in the morning? We open at 7, but you know, the door is usually unlocked by 6.30, so if we have bagels and we're here, we're, we'll sell them to you. Okay. If no, you don't keep the door locked. I, that is very generous yeah. of you. Now, for people that haven't been here, maybe that don't know the, the backstory, there's a lot of passion that goes into your food. Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, Connie and Tony are from the East Coast, and Connie noticed right away when she moved out here eight or nine years ago that there was not a proper bagel anywhere to be found. So, yeah, she set to work on creating a high-altitude, traditional, old-world bagel, and here we are. <laughs> and so, Laura, people can find you here at least several days a week, right? What's your role? Uh, we're here, or me personally? You personally yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here about four or five days a week, and I work the front, I work the register, I bartend, making coffees, making bagels. Nice. Yeah. All right. So this is this is a girl you want to talk to when you come in. Now, you brought out a couple examples of what we can find on your menu, so come closer. Let's yeah. take a look. So tell us about this first option here. This looks incredible. So this is our New York City upgrade. It's your classic scallion schmear, lox, tomatoes, shaved red onion, and capers. Yum. That looks so good. What kind of bagel is that on? Uh, that's our poppy seed bagel. Oh, okay. All right. Poppy seed bagel. How many different types of bagels do you typically have? Oh, about 12. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So Big, big variety. Okay, now as we kind of keep coming down the line here, oh, Laura, this looks delicious. What is this? This is our Leo Sammy. It's uh, lox, eggs, and uh, scallion schmear all scrambled together on a bagel. Uh, yum. Hello, breakfast. Okay, but you're not just breakfast, right? You're open till two-ish. I love that on the door it says yeah. two-ish. Yeah. Uh, so you also have pizza? Yeah, we roll out pizzas at about 11, 11.30 every afternoon. This is a Sicilian style sheet tray pizza. And just like our bagels, it's a three day process in making the dough. What? So again, very old world, just like simple food made really well. And uh, we also have our pizzas at Village Market now too. So because we do close so early, Say you don't get off work till five and you're craving our pizza, you can head across the street and buy a half a sheet tray take and bake pizza from Village Market. Okay, well that sounds really, really good. So again, this is something where the, there's a lot of passion behind the food and typically three days to make the dough, really? Yeah, yeah, it's a three day process to actually get the, the finished product. Okay, so what you're saying is you're not gonna find like a microwave somewhere in here where people oh, are just no. like throwing an egg in the microwave and calling it good. We do not have a microwave in the building and all of our eggs, including our scrambled eggs, are fresh cracked. Uh, you know, I know from experience a lot of restaurants say they use fresh cracked eggs and they do not. They come in a carton or a bag for the scrambled eggs. We fresh crack our eggs every day. There is no microwave. We use highest quality ingredients and you know as someone that's that's you know the front of the house that's greeting the customers when they come in it has to make your job so much easier knowing that you have really quality ingredients yeah. I don't know about you I've worked in those positions before where it's like yeah that's pretty good and yeah I do not feel guilty about selling our food <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. so okay so besides the food uh, can you get coffee here what's the deal yeah, we uh, we just bought a brand new espresso machine, so we're doing all the uh, all the coffee drinks now, not just drip coffee. And you know, we just a reminder, we do have a full liquor license, okay. so you can come in and get your morning mimosa, bloody mary, fresh squeezed margaritas, <laughs> all that good stuff. Yum! All right, well, listen, come on in and see Laura and the whole crew try the delicious food. And again, seven until two ish, so don't miss out on that. All right, we have more coming up on Good Morning Vale, and you know, after you eat all this delicious food we're talking bathing suits that's right maybe maybe we'll, we'll also talk about some activities about how you can burn off the pizza too so stay with us